Hi everyone, welcome to this brand new lecture and in this lecture I'm going to teach you how you can create your own recommendation system for a news article. We will be using here a LDA topic modeling. Thereafter, I'll be also describing you what is the recommendation system and then I'll be giving you introduction about the data set which we are going to use for our topic modeling and the recommendation system. And then I'll also explain you what is the topic modeling. Thereafter, I'll show you a line by line code of these topic modeling and recommendation system techniques. Thereafter, finally, I'll be showing you with an example here. You will see there is a raw text data which mostly talks about the astronomy, NASA and uh, space exploration. So when you create the recommendation, then you will also see here in the recommended article, you will mostly see about the NASA or you will see about the United States or you will see the articles related to mostly the space because these articles are most similar to this text raw text data which I have given here. So making this type of the recommendation, you have to watch this video series, a complete video series. Then you will understand that how you can create your own content based recommendation system. All right. So enough of talking. Let's go ahead and get started with this video lecture. But before you get started with video lecture, please do like this video and subscribe my channel KGP Talkie. All right. Now let's go ahead and understand what is the new article recommendation system using LDA topic modeling. So there are basically a three type of a recommendation system currently uh, being used. One is content based recommendation system. In the content based recommendation system, a recommendation is done based on the content of a of a product or you can say a news article. When we are talking about the news article, that means a recommendation will be made based on the content of the news article. There is no personalization in that case. And if we talk about the knowledge base recommendation, that means capturing the explicit specification from the user and using the domain knowledge as the input and then provide the recommendation to the user. That means to say that when whenever you are logged in to a news provider website, then the news provider will have your history or will have your history of the interest. Then the news provider can recommend you based on a personal interest, right? So in the knowledge based recommendation system, it won't be like purely on the content based, but it will be pure. It will be like what I have read previously and what in, in what type of the news article I have shown the interest in the past. So based on that, the, in this knowledge based recommendation system, a recommendation will be done. And in the collaborative filtering, this collaborative filtering identifies the content and the user attributes, which creates the cluster of the similar data. So in this collaborative filtering, we also need the user data. And in this case, what will happen? The algorithm will try to find out the article which I have previously read and how many other people who have seen that similar article and what are other articles those people also have seen. So based on those matching interest, the recommendation will be made. Like let's say if I'm interested in the politics and there are four more people are also interested in the politics, then it is going to create a cluster. Those people who are interested in the politics and then finally it will try to recommend you other articles related to other four people who have shown the interest in other news articles. So in this lecture series, we are going to take here a content based recommendation system. So basically it will be purely on the content of the news article. So we will be using here LDA latent dirichlet allocation topic modeling technique. So in this technique, we will be first creating a topic like let's say the what are the topics are discussed in the particular news 
and thereafter we will try to fetch the similar topic from the other news article and then we will get the score of the news article and the maximum score uh, which your news article will give you the maximum score we will recommend that article to a particular user so for this purpose we will be using here 20 news group data this 20 news group data is a collection of 18,000 news group documents from a 20 different news group. The link of this news group data set is given here. It is available at the Kaggle. You can visit at this link. In this link, you will see there this data was uploaded four years ago. And the data size is almost 69 megabytes of the data. You might need to register here before downloading it. Otherwise, there is another way to download this data, which you can do from the sklearn library itself. So if you come here at the Kaggle site, you will see there, uh, if you expand it from here, you will see there it has a total 20 news group. So these are the topics or you can say these are the topic or the classes of a news article like the hardware, related to windows, related to graphics, auto, motorcycle, baseball and cryptocurrency or cryptography perhaps it is, uh, hockey, sci-fi, uh, sports, electronic, medical science, space, politics, right? Politics, guns, all these things you see there, these 20 news group are actually uh, given in this data set. And uh, if you see here, uh, if you scroll it down here, you will see all these 20 news group data set. If you click on here, this crypt.txt, then you will see these data. These are mostly related to news articles and some emails related to this, right? All right. Perfect. So these are the uh, the articles which is uh, in this particular group. Then you have the articles related in electronics group. The document ID is this one and subject and all those things. Right. Perfect. So these these text actually discuss about the electronic and these are also news and uh, some of these are articles which is also an email. It is taken from the email as well. Uh, whatever they have discussed there right so there are total 21 files are there one csv file and one t, uh, 20 txt files so it has the two groups there one is the string another one is the id all right perfect so this is the introduction about the data set let's uh, see uh, how you can get it from the sklearn in the sklearn you have the 20 news group uh, text data set although this one is the old article but don't worry the same data set is available with the new article as well at the scikit-learn let me just zoom in so that you can see it clearly there you will see you can import this with the clearly from sklearn dot data set import fetch 20 news group so there are two subset are made at the sklearn data set the one is the train subset and the another one is the test subset thereafter you can also get here the target names so these are the 20 actually the classes and then finally somewhere we should be able to see their uh, test data somewhere as well so here they are also uh, getting the test data as well and they are using some kind of here a classifiers as well. So this one is on our uh, yes killer, but we are actually gonna use our uh, another library, which is actually the K train library. All right, so we are gonna use that K train here. So with the K train library, we will be able to use our algorithm simply. It's a quite simple to use this K train. So we'll be using this K-Train library. The installation of K-Train is also a quite simple. So I'll be showing all those things here in, in, in the our, in this lecture. 
All right, so before we advance, let me explain you finally the topic modeling. So the topic modeling, this topic modeling actually, uh, whenever we discuss this topic in our natural language processing, this means that the words which go together. All right, like there is a text data and if there are many words which goes together in a single, which goes together mostly in a single, in a single article, then we can say that those words are mostly related to each other. Like if there are many document, we can actually classify these documents in multiple topics. And these topics may have here a multiple topic in the topic clustering itself like it can say that there is this article and what are the things which is discussed in this particular article like let's say if there is any article where gene dna genetic all those things are discussed there is another article in which life evolve and organism are discussed so if you see these topics so these topics are mostly similar to each other right so this one is mostly related to the genetics biology this one is also related to the biology here uh, this one is related to of course the biology but mostly with the neurons or the uh, brains etc here it is related to some digital numbers etc so similarly if i say about the a uh, topic sports then what are other words which goes together with the topic sports the topic with the sports goes together like the athlete soccer stadium cricket hockey football so all these topics goes together when we talk about the sports all right so the similarly we will be first doing with our news article we will be creating here a multiple topics and then based on those topics we will try to find out the similarity between the multiple news article so whenever we have one news article then based on this similarity we will be also able to get the other news articles as well all right so enough of topic uh, enough of uh, talking let's go ahead and code together so let me first delete this one and let me first also add few more here a code cell i'm using here a google colab you can uh, create here google colab uh, in fact this one is i should write here all right using topic modeling all right so enough of talk let's go ahead and start coding together so as i told you that first of all we need to install our k train so i'm gonna do here pip install k train just run it so it's gonna install it might take a little time to install it so you can just do this pip install ktrain thereafter we will start importing necessary python packages uh, which we are going to need while doing our uh, uh, recommendation system for news articles all right so the first of all we will be here importing uh, os numpy and the pandas data frame because we will be needing those as well and uh, one more thing i would suggest to you the latest version of the k train currently which we have which is 0 0.26.2 so just to make sure that we have a complete uh, compatibility you should type here 0 0.26.2 because we are going to work on this particular k train all right perfect so let's go ahead and here import os and then i'm gonna do here import numpy as np thereafter i'm gonna do here import pandas as pd all right then finally if you remember we just installed our k train so we are gonna import k train and finally if you remember here in our 20 news group then we need to also get this one to export uh, to import our data from the 20 news group as well so just run this it's gonna import our necessary python packages in our notebook and thereafter thereafter i'm gonna remove a few headers from this uh, 20 news group uh, data set but before that 
if we actually get this data set from here and you just read this data set then you will see uh, you will be able to see this data set we might need to just wait for a while because it's it's actually have a huge text data so it might take a little time there all right so we have got this huge text data there in this you will be having these uh, you know the headers footers something like that so many you know the words you might have so we actually need to remove those things just a second All right, so you see there it has here these headers. These are the headers. Then it has uh, at the last of this uh, last of this data, it has also the footers, and we are also gonna remove the quotes as well. All right, so those things we are gonna remove, and so for that we can simply say that here remove. All right, so if you see there there should be some uh, remove is there so remove says that the parameters which you want to remove let me show you here this one is the may contains the subset something like this headers footers and this quotes so each of these kinds of the text that will be detected and removed from the news group posts preventing classifier from overfitting on the metadata all right so header removes the news group headers footers remove the block at the end of post so all those things you have uh, I, i'm sure you have understood this properly so um here i'm gonna put like uh, this remove is equal to the text which i have just copied there and then i'm gonna put here this remove all right just run it once again now you will be seeing here uh, a little cleaned data set right so these headers footers all those things are removed those do you see this from and to perhaps those things are removed from the data set right very nice let's go ahead and uh, store this data set in tm is equal to something like this which is a topic modeling so this topic modeling will take a little time uh, uh, but uh, before i do this topic modeling i actually need to create our training and the test data set both type of the data set all right so here i'm gonna get here this train data set and uh, with the similarly i'm just gonna copy it and paste it here and then i'm gonna get here this test data set all right so i get here the train data set and the test data set both thereafter i'm gonna put these text together since we are not doing here any type of the classification we are doing a topic modeling so the topic modeling is kind of unsupervised learning so we do not need here train and the test data so i'm going to combine this train and the text data together so i say here this train dot data and then plus test dot data which i'm going to actually put here a new variable which is known as a text all right so this text actually have all the text which is a train and the test data set that means it is combined text data set so we have got the raw data this one is the raw data let's go ahead and uh, train our algorithm for the topic modeling so i'm going to put here the time magic keyword here to find out how much time it's going to actually take that means our topic modeling so the tm is equal to ktrain dot text dot get topic model and in that we are going to pass here the text data so this one is the text data and then i'm going to say that how many number of features it can utilize to utilize while parsing this text data so i'm going to put here the 10000 so i say use the 10000 total number of features and generate as many as topics you want because i have provided here by default it is none and then this one is the text data and it will automatically remove all the stop words in english stop words and the model type that's mean the topic modeling it's going to use here the lda there it is going to perform a five iteration maximum all right and then it's going to use lda mode which is the online 
so all right so these things it's gonna use it will take some time perhaps a few minutes it can take a few minutes because it's a huge text data then definitely it will take a, 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 the few minutes perhaps five to ten minutes to complete this topic modeling so we are gonna just wait for a few minutes so that this topic modeling is completed thereafter it will be a quite fast all right all right so the topic modeling training is done and it took almost a five minute to train it so once you have these uh, once you have a trained your model on the text data with the total 10,000 number of features and uh, the previously I I had shown you that the maximum number of iteration is the five so it took almost one minute for a one iteration for whole the data right so on whole data it took almost a five minutes to complete its uh, processing all right now let's go ahead and build our topic modeling because currently we have our topic modeling but we have not used any threshold so we are going to use the threshold because we are going to actually cut those matches which are really very low matches means those group which are matching with very less probability so i'm going to put there the probability of the matching at least 0 0.25 so the tm dot build and then here i have this on this text data with the threshold 0 0.25 Alright, so this threshold says that this one is the build the document topic distribution showing the topic probability distribution for each document. So it says that the probability of the similarity between I mean or you can say the similarity weight if it is less less than the 0 0.25 then it's going to ignore. So it's going to take those which have the highest topic probability. Alright. Uh, the highest topic probability is less than the thresholds are definitely going to be filtered out. So those which have greater than 0 0.25, those we are going to take together. Right, so it's it, it, it's going to take just a few seconds. Once it is done, right, so once it is done, now we are going to train our model. Uh, I'm sorry, previously I told you that the training is done here. It's not the training, but in fact the data pre-processing is done here so the data vectorization process is done here once the vectorization process is done here thereafter we can actually train our model right so you can actually get the any topics number of features predicts all those things are here later on we will uh, um, uh, 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 we will actually uh, see uh, a few of these uh, features which we will be using in this lecture. So let's go ahead and train our model. So the tm dot train recommender system. Just train it. So it's gonna just take a few seconds to train it. Great. So it's just take just took a few seconds to train it. So our model training is done. We have built our model now the time to generate the recommendation system so we are going to generate uh, i mean to say that now it is the time to test our recommendation system so i'm going to generate a recommendation based on a raw text data so i'm going to put here this raw text data and the raw text data i'm gonna uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry this the raw text data i'm gonna just take here a recent raw text data i'm gonna read about the elon musk elon musk news let's say all right that's the news here and i'm gonna take this part all right so this one let's say this much of the data i'm gonna take from here and then I'm going to perform here the topic modeling on this real data. So I have got this raw text data, which mostly talks about the cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and the Elon Musk. Let's go ahead and see what are the, the topics we can get from our recommender system. Or uh, it's going to actually, uh, or it's, it's going to actually give us, it's, it's going to give us the 
similar articles related to this particular news so for i and the doc in i'm gonna actually the enumerate here so what i'm gonna enumerate here the tm that's the tech uh, um, the text modeling all right topic modeling recommend and in this i'm gonna actually use my text data so the text is equal to the raw text data which i had just uh, shown you here n is equal to i say here a five that's mean the five similar news article i'm gonna recommend here so i say here the print result all right so i'm gonna print here the result number of result is here gonna be one so there i'm providing here a format here all right so this one is gonna be here one then i'm gonna put here i plus one so whenever it's gonna enumerate it's gonna give us the five and enumeration starts with the zero so the zero plus one it's going to be one thereafter i say here this print the text data now i'm gonna print here the text data all right so i say here print the text data with a new line thereafter i say here the print all right so here you see when we do this tm recommend let me show you uh, i'm sorry if i say here this tm recommend text data something like this it's gonna recommend us all right a whole uh, these topics all right so these topics are not uh, pretty much clear that's what i'm uh, actually doing there so just i can pre-process and pre uh, the reformat this one so what is happening here the print then uh, uh, let me show you here then perhaps you will understand that what i am trying to do here so you see there this one is actually coming as the list all right so there there this one is the list now I, now i need to actually uh, i need to put all these topics together so that's what i am doing here all right so here i have this print I'm gonna actually uh, join everything together here. So print join here. I have the doc, and do you see there the text data? So I'm gonna actually join these text data together. Then I do here this split. All right. So so see how it is happening. I get this text data. This text data. Thereafter, I do here the split actually. And then I'm actually going to take only uh, first 500 words here. All right. So it's going to take just first 500 words. And then finally, it is actually a joining here. And then finally, we have our this final representation here. All right. And then finally, I do here the print just run it. Perfect. So for this news article, do remember we have also not removed any uh, these uh, uh, you can say that these uh, special characters from uh, our news article because we did not do any of the text pre-processing but anyway uh, we have this particular uh, bitcoin and these things it seems like it is not working on the bitcoin perhaps the reason is that there is a possibility that the few years ago the bitcoin was not uh, not uh, in the much of the use so that's uh, that could be the reason that is why it got a little confused so i'm gonna just uh, uh, get here some other uh, uh, the uh, other other news article actually i'm just gonna uh, get here so let's say related to the nasa because the nasa is quite old and uh, this article is also quite old so this article might not have the text related to bitcoin do remember you can only you can only get the related news which you have in your database unless and until you don't uh, you, unless and until you have the news in your database of course you cannot provide the recommendation so there has to be a news related to that so i say here a space exploration nasa 
right news let's say here all right so let's go ahead and take few of these and try to understand that uh, how it is going to do this so let's say if i get this one from here and i put it here once again and then i go ahead here there it's creating something like this and then i'm gonna create here the recommendation now you will see here the two things right so right now we have got a pretty much a correct uh, topic recommendation so this article is talking about the nasa it is talking about the nasa nasa astronaut and uh, it's talking about the students it's talking about the united states all right so uh, it's talking about the uh, houston all right so these these new news article let's see what are the other articles which uh, which are talking about that and there are lots of the numbers as well like these numbers so we are also getting these numbers there as well so is there anyone uh, anyone out there running a chicago national uh, something like this and there you will see right perfect so there is another one james harris rogers something like that the following press release was distributed by nasa headquarters space station so do you see here the most of the things are the news article which we are getting here related to space or the news related to uh, united states right there you see the california nasa all those things so the mostly these are related to uh, astronomy and related to astronaut or space exploration right so that's how this uh, uh, this one is suggesting a similar article here so or you can say these are the similar document which we have currently in our news although these are not a recent news but suppose that you have a very recent news the collection of the recent news and if you do the topic modeling on your collection of the recent news then definitely you will get a very good recommendation on the current news articles all right perfect thanks a lot guys for watching this uh, video lecture i would really request you to please come to my youtube channel and subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care